What's happening, YouTube? This is Hayes Anderson. I'm about to do a jam, and I thought I'd share with you a little of the setup process that I go through for some of these jams. Uh, for this particular one that I'm planning on doing, I'm going to use the Volca sample. So what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up the bass bot with uh, a few um, random patterns that I've, I've got here. And this is going to trigger the D05, and I'm going through a few different sounds. And I have my beats here just as a reference point. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. So for the, uh, let's start off by just like listening to some of the, uh, the patterns that I have here in the TT-303. Pretty chaotic, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you a, pr um, a hint. That's actually in 15-16 uh, is what I determined that was. Uh, randomly generated. So um, as soon as I add the beats, however, we'll start to hear a little bit of reference. Okay, you get the point. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unmute the DO5 and I'm going to mute uh, the, the bass bot so you can hear what's going on over here with this guy. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to now record all of this with Audacity and then I'm going to slice that up into samples. Uh, one, I have this guy out here ready because one of the things I like to do before I start is I like to make sure that I know what the tempo is. I can usually go ahead and slide it in where it needs to be in the vocal sample after the fact, but it's always nice to know kind of ahead of time where I'm at. So real quick, let's just kind of figure out what the tempo is. And I'm going to mute the DO5, hit play, just get the beats going. And one of the things I like about this little guy right here is it has a tempo finder. So that's looking to be like right about 125. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so now that we've got all of that established, I can come over here. Start recording. Come back over here and I'm going to try to grab a few slices. And I'm going to watch the beats to see when to stop. Alrighty, one more with the moon bass. Where'd you go? Moon stroller. Four more. All right. Come back over here, and I see that they're way too low of a level, but that's okay. I want to do these over again, anyways, for you. So, what I can do real quick is just normalize them. Not worry about the noise. We can grab one real quick. And lower the volume on that, sorry. And this, this is just a quick, uh, I don't think that this is actually gonna work, but we're gonna try it. How do I do the shift enter? Shift. There's a little bit of pause there, but anyways, what I can do is, I actually that's not so bad, even with the normalization, the noise is really low, so normalizing it like that doesn't bring a whole lot of noise back into the signal. I'm going to redo these anyways, though, because I want to just go ahead and get a good clear, clear level. So once I kind of get all of that going, there's other things I can do, like if I want to, I might want to add some kind of delay. It just depends. I can also add that delay to it as the jam is playing, as it's coming out of the vocal sample. But these are all decisions that I have to make ahead of time, and a lot of times I just make a decision and go with it and let that kind of dictate where I'm going to head with the jam itself. 
So I don't actually put a whole lot of pre-thought into what I'm doing. I just try to keep things consistent. The most important thing is that I keep these patterns very consistent. So I'm going to now swap out uh, the DO5 with something like the EA1 probably is what I'm going to use next. Mess around with that. I might even try to get a few sounds out of the AEY3 right here and just see what happens. I'll spend the next hour going through sounds and recording them to Audacity. And I'll spend another hour slicing them up and selecting them and then putting them into the vocal sample. At any rate, um, we'll see what this jam sounds like when this is all done. And uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care.